Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be giving you a demonstration of real-time collaboration in iWork. Now this is a video that was requested by one of my viewers and it's part of an update which recently came out to iWork both on iOS and on macOS. So I'm going to be recording my view from macOS and I'm going to be collaborating with someone who is using iOS. Now, because of the recording situation that we've got set up here, unfortunately I can't record the uh, iOS screen at the same time as recording my Mac screen, but I will try and include one or two screenshots uh, of the iOS view so you can see what's going on from there. But I've got a Pages document here. Now, this works with any of iWork, so Pages, Numbers, or Keynote. So if you just open up a document, obviously I'm showing you from my Mac, but the same is on iOS. Uh, it's the same sort of method of how you go about collaborating. So I'm in my document here, and this is just one of the templates that Pages comes with. And I'm just going to go to this top uh, button up here, which is new, which is, says Collaborate. If I tap on that, it's just going to give me a warning that this is in beta, and it's just going to give me a bit of information because at the moment it is in beta, it should be finished and out of beta soon, but for now it's uh, there, so you get this warning, you can choose to not show it again if you want to. But if I hit continue, it will now give me the options to how I'd like to add people, so in this case I'm actually going to share it via messages, and I'm just going to block out uh, the email address obviously at the moment. So I've typed it in, and now I'm just going to go ahead and hit send, and now the other person should receive a message with the link in it so uh, as at the top here you can see it says slot starting cl collaborating and that's set it up so if the other person joins I'll get a sort of pop-up which tells me that they've joined so you may have noticed this icons now turned to a green icon with a tick so that's indicating that collaboration is turned on now it's turned on and the person has joined uh, you can see it's now got a one indicating one person's here uh, I'm not sure how many people you can have on working on a document at once, but obviously this will change. So if there are two people, then it will show two. But if I click on this, I actually get some information about who's there. So I have me, so I'm the owner, so it just has that in brackets. And I'm a yellow, so each person's assigned a colour. I'm yellow and this is red. Uh, we've got a list of people, so we've got their images. These are just contact images. Obviously, I've blurred them out at the moment. But I've got the option here to add someone, so if I tap add, it will just go to that same menu with all the various sharing options that I showed you earlier. And I can go here to tap on share options, so I can choose what access people have, so only people you invite or anyone with that link that uh, I sent. So if anyone had that link, then they can access it without being authorised. And you can also have permissions, so people who are collaborating uh, can either only view or they can make changes as well. I'll keep on make changes at the moment because that's where most of the functionality is. You'll also notice that next to each person there are three dots. If I click on them I get the person's email address there, obviously blurred out again. I can show their contact card if they're in my contacts so if I need to act on that. Send them an email, I can give choose their permission options again and I can tap here to remove access so if, if I want to stop them from editing then that's fine. Obviously, I've got my own uh, options there as well. But now let's get into the actual collaboration itself. So at the top here, as you can see, I'm just going to fill in a bit of this. And it says company name. Now I'm just going to change this to, obviously, TechOS, because that's my company name. And on the other person's screen, they can see that I've actually changed that. And they can actually see where my cursor is. You'll see how it looks for me in a minute. Uh, they can see where my cursor is, and I've clicked off that so their cursor has arrow has disappeared. I'll show you what I mean by the arrow in a minute. Now if the other person uh, notices that something isn't quite right in the document, so for example here the date, as you can see uh, I've got an arrow indicating where their cursor is and they can change it to the appropriate date and it's now been added. So I did get a briefing of their name there so I know who's editing it and obviously their colour which was yellow has been, uh, appeared there so I can know who's editing it just by looking at the colour um, but I can go ahead and continue uh, editing more stuff so I'll put in my YouTube email address here uh, yeah so this is the email address when I say email me if you've got any questions then this is the email address so here it is in case you wanted to know that but that's there and it's great for images as well so I've got my logo here which I'm just going to drag in from my desktop and if I add this in as you can see, it's gone in quite big, but if I just resize it so it's scaled appropriately, 
um, I can just drag this anywhere I like and obviously the other person can go ahead and perhaps if they think it needs to go somewhere else then they can move it around as you can see I get a live sort of indicator of them uh, moving it uh, as it's happening so I can see they've selected the object and then that they're also moving it and resizing it and positioning it in the appropriate place so that's basically how that works I do have commenting options up here so I can uh, tap to make a comment and it will appear on uh, the other person's device as well so you do have that functionality if they're not in the same room as you or if they're somewhere else and you don't want to have to be using a you know a FaceTime call or having a phone call at the same time you can use the comments feature to communicate live but anyway that's it for this video it's very simple this feature it's a great feature one that many people have been looking forward to it is something which I don't even think Microsoft Office has I think they have uh, collaboration but it's not fully live I know Google Docs has it and all the Google suites I've used that a bit on and off and it works in the same way uh, but I think obviously iWork has its own its own touch to it so Apple can do features which some others can't obviously because they have their own operating system and they can do, do what they want with it but it is ahead of Microsoft's version because I think Microsoft you can do collaboration but I don't think it's live so you have to manually hit save every time you want to refresh the changes that's basically it for this video if you've got any questions or comments on collaborating or you're having trouble setting up or using it or something not quite right then do get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video